Now with the highly anticipated WNBA draft tipping off tonight, there are so many hoop dreams to talk about. They're coming true from Caitlin Clark to Angel Reese and more. It is ladies night and Will Reeve has a preview with it all. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Lindsay. We've got a bunch of headliners tonight at the Brooklyn Academy of Music, national champions, players with many individual accolades, and a singular driving force in the crescendo of women's basketball's popularity, all ready to step center stage to realize a dream. Clark, oh my! This morning, just hours away from the WNBA draft and one of the biggest names in basketball ready to hear her name called first. I think it presents a, a new challenge and a new pressure, but to me, like, that's exciting. That's what I signed up for. That's one of the reasons I left college is, like, I think I'm ready for this from a, a maturity standpoint, from a basketball standpoint. Clark steps back, fires, you bet! Caitlin Clark is tonight's presumptive number one pick. The Indiana Fever holding that spot like a winning lottery ticket. Clark's record-breaking college career taking women's basketball to new heights, bringing unprecedented TV ratings. Her final NCAA game was the highest-rated basketball game of any kind since 2019. Clark proving her crossover appeal with a cameo on Saturday Night Live. I am a fan, Caitlin, by the way. Really, Michael? Because I heard that little apron joke you did. While paying tribute to some of the game's greats, Thanks to all the great players like Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, the great Don Staley, and my basketball hero, Maya Moore. These are the women that kicked down the door so I could walk inside. So who could get picked next? ESPN's Andrea Carter says there's a lot to choose from in this loaded WNBA draft class. It could be Cameron Brink from Stanford. It could be Camila Cardoso, who just won a national championship with South Carolina. And Cam Brink up and in. Brink was recently named Defensive Player of the Year. Rebound. Brazilian-born Cardoso, a driving force in South Carolina's undefeated season. And then there's LSU star Angel Reese, a national champion and conference player of the year, telling ESPN she's ready. It's been crazy for me for four years, and being able to walk out as a national champion and also having my degree is all, all I ever wanted. And I'm getting everything I ever wanted, so I'm happy to open a new book, and I'm excited for what's next. And the anticipation for these stars to be drafted has had a tangible impact. Ticket sales and prices are way up, and the Fever will be on national broadcasts for 36 of their 40 regular season games, many of those games on the ESPN and ABC Family of Networks. Speaking of which, you can see the WNBA draft tonight live, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN, guys. What if the Fever trade the number one pick? That would be a <laughs> shock, I think. <laughs> but anything 30, could happen. You got to tune in. 40. Yeah. It's good. Nice mm -hmm. to see the women getting some some deserved shine there.